Sun Sagittarius. This is your reading for this upcoming week. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's going on with you guys. I hope all is well with you. Let's see. Please show me what's going on around Sagittarius currently. What's going on around Sagittarius currently? Four of Wands. There's a family dynamic. Um, could possibly be a marriage that has taken place or some of you guys have moved in with someone. Um, I feel like there are happy times going on right now. The Aries energy. <clears throat> What is crossing Sagittarius? Three of Pentacles, compromising, doing what's necessary to make your union work here. That Capricorn energy, working with that person, wanting to do what it takes to like get along and make things progress beyond where they are right now. You always want to keep growing. Um, this is all about uh, taking the necessary steps to make sure that uh, your voice is heard as well as the other person's voice is heard. So, I like it. What is the underlying issue here or the foundation for Sagittarius' reading? The Magician. Hmm. You guys have manifested this. This is why this is happening. Because you wanted it to. You did what you needed to do to have your situation play out the way it's playing out right now. You did this. Okay? You are the magician. This is why this is happening. That Gemini energy. You saw what you wanted, you thought about what you wanted, and you're making this shit happen. What was going on in the recent past for Sagittarius? Five of Swords. I feel like you guys were not combative, but I feel like you did not give up. You fought for what it was that you want. It's what you did. Now, there were instances with this person, I feel like, where, you know, one of you was taking jabs or both of you were taking jabs at the other person, basically looking out for yourselves. But I feel like there's something that you're working through right now with this individual. Things are working out. Things are going well. Aquarius energy there. Crowning thoughts for Sagittarius. Crowning thoughts for Sagittarius. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like there's this level of confidence that you're thinking about. You're confident about where you are right now. Um, some of you guys, even though things are working out with someone, there's some part of you that still feels single. Like, it's not totally back together or totally together with this person but there's still this level of happiness that's here stability in your situation right now even though you don't feel totally like um connected in this situation with this person like it's not to the point where it's you feel it's fully committed for some reason Maybe this is a situation where you guys broke up with someone, you're back together, and you're just kind of working out the kinks. Um, but that's that Virgo energy there. Um, some of you could have a Virgo on your mind, even. And this other person is behaving like you guys are not fully back together. So this is like that stage where you are trying to work things out and see where each other fits into um, this new situation. Okay. What's coming in for Sagittarius? What's coming in for Sagittarius? Eight of Swords. Going back to the past. Dipping back into that, that Pandora's box. Where you don't know what memory you're going to fall back to. 
you know, um, constantly thinking about things, replaying things over in your head that transpired between the two of you. You have strong Gemini, Virgo um, energy here, Aries is here, Aquarius is here. But I feel Virgo and Gemini is here very strong for some of you guys here. Okay. <clears throat> How is Sagittarius viewing their situation? How is Sagittarius viewing their situation? Queen of Wands. I feel that, you know, right now you are content with where things are. You're happy that they're even at the stage that they're at. Okay, there's this level of happiness, there's this level of um, responsibility that you're taking in this situation with this person. I feel like you're very attracted to them. I feel like you're confident um, in your abilities and your capability to make some shit happen here. What is the influence here for Sagittarius? Please show me the influence for Sagittarius. Seven of Wands. You're sticking by what you believe and what you want. That Leo energy, very strong. You're strong. You're resilient. Okay? And you know that if you want something bad enough, you will make that shit happen. You will make it happen. Hopes or fears for Sagittarius. Hopes or fears for Sagittarius. Page of Pentacles. I feel that um, for some reason this situation feels like it may get stuck for you. That maybe somebody's going to get too comfortable in, um, in not the friend zone because you're not in a friend zone. But like it's not going to get to the level that you are wanting it to get to as fast as you wanted to get there. Um, I think you feel like somebody's making baby steps. Somebody's not all in. Um, you feel like the, it definitely has a potential to be um, a strong, committed relationship that you're building, that you're working on. But is this person so comfortable where you are right now that they're going to drag their feet? So I think your fear is like somebody dragging their feet. This earth energy. What is the overall outcome here for Sagittarius? Overall outcome for Sagittarius. Please show me the overall outcome for Sagittarius. Knight of Pentacles. I felt like that Knight of Pentacles was trying to come out. Um, I do feel like this person is really taking things slowly. And they are somewhat dragging their feet. I feel like this is not something that they want to just hop back into or try to um, speed up. You know, I think that this person is really thoughtful in their actions. They're not trying to um, make any sudden moves. They don't want to make a mistake. Um, they don't want to do something that they don't feel like, you know, they didn't think of themselves. They don't want to be pushed. So I do feel like this person is, um, is, is really being strategic in their action. But this person is also coming in. Now they're on a horse. They're not on foot anymore. So if I was going to have a night, it probably would be the Knight of Pentacles. Because sometimes the way things end is the way they begin. And so if, if this person's coming in with this, this pentacle energy of wanting to be committed, wanting to think things through, then they're not going to be so eager to leave either. This is somebody that will fight for a connection once they are in it. So 
I think this is definitely um, a, a good sign because they are progressing from a page to a night. So they are making progress, guys. All right. So this looks good. I hope everything works out for you and um, I will be speaking with you guys soon.